there's also a recent uh, current that is gaining a lot of popularity, which you mentioned in Image Just My Brain, which is panpsychism. And uh, can you talk a bit about this like uh, latest trend? Yeah, so panpsychism is a really interesting addition to the whole conversation um, because it's acknowledging the inability of physicalist approaches to get to cross the chasm from um, uh, non-conscious neurons to human consciousness, uh, what David Chalmers coined as the hard problem, if you like. Um And actually, Chalmers himself is a is a panpsychist. And this view uh, actually says, look, instead of s assuming matter to be fundamental, the most fundamental building block that we need to start with and build a bridge to consciousness, why don't we flip that whole conversation and s assume that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe and build a bridge back to the human brain. And I actually really um, appreciate this view because it acknowledges the limitations of physicalist approaches on their own to make sense of this. And it just opens up the, the conversation to say, look, what if consciousness is fundamental to the universe in some way? And what does that look like? What 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 kind of consciousness are we talking about? And And I guess the panpsychist is saying that everything is conscious to some extent, And they solve the hard problem that way. And I guess they're saying that somehow conscious properties and physical properties are interwoven. Um, and that happens from humans down through the animal kingdom and all kinds of life down to the atomic scale, such as um, there's something that it is like to be an electron or a quark. Um And it's a fascinating theory. I think that it's obviously, um, I think there's a lot of, uh, I think it brings a lot to the conversation, even though it's been an unpopular view until very recently. Um, I think its limitations are in describing the the seemingly very significantly different levels of consciousness in humans compared with every other living creature. Um And also perhaps um, some limitations in accounting for the unity of consciousness. If it's true that there's something that it is to be an electron, why are we not having 30 trillion conscious experiences? We don't have that. We have one unified experience. So I think, you know, every every position has its challenges. And those are the challenges that I see in panpsychism. Yeah, absolutely. I also see another one. Is, isn't it just simply deferring the problem to the atomic level? And, and again, not really answering the question because we're just deferring the problem to, to like infinitely small particles. And then what, is, what does it mean that an atom is conscious? <laughs> mm. Well, yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> That is yeah. true. 